long, how long must we sing this song? Back to the nuclear fucking disaster, fucking nightmare. Well, TEPCO is still unable to determine how long an emergency cooling system at the number one reactor remained off after the earthquake. The malfunctioning of the system is suspected to have played a key role in the disaster. The utility officials spoke to reporters on Tuesday about the system, which is supposed to function without external sources of power. Operating records at the plant show the emergency cooling system turned on automatically six minutes after the earthquake at 2.52 p.m. TEPCO says based on reports from workers, it has confirmed the system was manually shut down at 3.03 p.m. 11 minutes later. It said workers carried out the step based on their manual. It was apparently meant to prevent damage to the number one reactor because the temperature of the unit's cooling water had dropped sharply. The system was manually rebooted more than three hours later at 6.18 p.m. TEPCO says the system may have been turned on at other times within that three-hour period, but it says so far it cannot clearly determine the course of events based on computer data and interviews with workers. I got talking to a guy yesterday, and he says, you know, we all have a little bit of Chernobyl in us. I says, yeah, if we have that much Chernobyl in us, we got that much Fukushima in us. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant says the containment vessel of the number one reactor may have been damaged about 18 hours after the March 11th earthquake, allowing highly radioactive water to leak. The disaster knocked out the reactor's cooling system. This is thought to have caused the fuel rods to melt, creating holes in the pressure vessel and damaging the containment vessel. On Tuesday, Tokyo Electric Power Company released the results of its analysis of the temperature and water level of the reactor. The temperature of the containment vessel began to rise immediately after the earthquake. It shot up 15 hours after the quake, when a meltdown is believed to have occurred. At 9 a.m. on March 12th, around 18 hours after the quake, the vessel's temperature had reached 300 degrees Celsius. That's more than double the temperature it was, withstand, with, it was designed to withstand. When the temperature of a containment vessel hits 300 degrees, the rubber and metal parts used to seal joints will be damaged. Highly contaminated water may have leaked through these damaged sections. This is the first time that TEPCO has given details of how highly radioactive water may have been leaked at the number one reactor. Now why is this thing a fucking conspiratorial, fucking dummying down, lack of news report, which it is. I mean, all you conspiracy get, this is a fucking real conspiracy. Japan's nuclear regulatory agency has instructed TEPCO to take additional measures to prevent further leakage of radioactive water into the sea from the troubled Fukushima Daiichi plant. TEPCO found on May 11th that highly radioactive water was flowing into the sea through a pit near a water intake for the plant's number three reactor. The utility estimates that 250 tons of contaminated water was discharged in 41 hours and that it contained 20 terabecquerels of radioactivity. This was about 100 times more than permitted annually at the plant. The company is trying to plug pits at the plant with concrete and studying the feasibility of building a system for purifying seawater near the water intake. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency ordered TEPCO to also survey other places at risk of radioactive leakage and take preventive action. The agency also has requested TEPCO to finalize a plan for storing and treating contaminated water at the plant by June 1st. Contaminated water with about 4,700 terabecquerels was discharged into the sea from the plant's number two reactor in April. This was 20,000 times more than the annual limit. TEPCO says the density of radioactive cesium above the number one reactor is 18 times the permissible level for the edge of the plant's compound. Large amounts of radioactive substances have been released into the air since reactor cores and buildings were damaged, but measurements were not available. On Sunday, TEPCO began measuring the density of radioactive elements above the number one and number four reactors. The firm used instruments attached to the crane pumps that are injecting water into the reactors. 
The utility detected 360 becquerels of cesium-134 per cubic meter above the number one reactor. The amount is 18 times the allowable limit for the plant's perimeter. The firm also discovered 7.5 times the limit of cesium-134 above the number four reactor, which has no fuel in its core. The substance is believed to have come from the fuel storage pool and the neighboring number three reactor. TEPCO says it will measure the levels of radioactive elements above the number two and number three reactors. It also plans to cover the reactor buildings with polyester sheets to prevent the further dispersal of radioactive materials into the air. I'm starting to fucking wonder. It blows my fucking mind. Absolutely no fucking media. I'm starting to think more and more about it. What the fuck? Is it state-run television? Is it a conspiratorial fucking message sent down to the corporate boards? Is it the fucking news media? All of them are fucking corporations and they're fucking circled the wagons of the fucking corporations together? A team of experts from the International Atomic Energy Agency will begin investigating the nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant on Wednesday. They'll present their independent report to the Japanese government on June 1st. The group of 18 experts from Britain, France, South Korea and other countries arrived in Japan on Tuesday. They'll be given a briefing by the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency on the accident and the steps taken to contain it. They'll examine the timing of seawater injections into the plant's reactors and other measures taken by the government and TEPCO. Other topics to be covered in the report include the evacuation advisories and orders issued by the government. The group will visit the Fukushima plant to inspect the ongoing containment work and may interview the head official. This is fucking crazy. Absolutely no fucking news media. Cattle farmers who have been urged to evacuate their homes near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant have started moving their livestock to a neighboring city. Residents of some municipalities just outside the plant's 20 kilometer seclusion zone were recently asked to evacuate by the end of May. But some farmers have had difficulty resettling their animals. Most areas of Katsurao village in Fukushima prefecture have been declared part of a planned evacuation zone. Village authorities are helping to move more than 400 head of cattle being raised there in order to meet the evacuation deadline at the end of May. Cattle farmer Masami Kano, who has found temporary lodging more than 100 kilometers away, has been returning to Katsurao to tend his cattle every three days. A livestock farm in nearby Tamura City expressed its readiness to take over the care of 170 cows and bulls from Kasarao. Work to move the cattle began on Tuesday. Kano gave two cows and one calf a good brushing before seeing them off to their new home. On Tuesday, a total of 26 cows from four livestock farms headed for Tamura City. The entire livestock transfer is scheduled to be completed by the end of the week. The prefectural government says it will urge Romanian cattle farmers to evacuate and is asking them to sell their animals or find farms that will look after them.